Need to avoid the sweep here after dropping the first two, the Miami Marlins on this three game weekend series here at the big gate. On the mound for the Halos, record of three and three, 3.47 ERA, left-hander Patrick Sandoval. And Jonathan Davis getting the uh, the nod in that leadoff spot for the second consecutive uh, day here. It's a little ground ball, Drury is there. And takes care of business. Here's Jorge Soler, who's got a league leading 11 home runs in the month of May, and he has absolutely walloped lefties this season. There's one bounce back to the mound behind the back, stop by Sandoval, and he'll throw to first in time. No look stop on that comebacker, out number two. What about those great athletes and pitchers, Patrick? Hold on, let's just settle down. That's a great play. <laughs> Sandy was able to get this done. And here's the hot-hitting Luisa Rise, who leads the majors with a 371 batting average. That's a little flare. Mike Trout coming in, and he's got it with the speed. So we got some good defense to start this game. Yeah, 16 strikeouts. He's walked six this year. He walked three in his last outing in Colorado. And the majority of the 16 strikeouts have come on his off-speed pitch. In the center, it's Jonathan Davis making the call and the catch, one away. Mike Trout will be the next batter. He's had hits in eight of his last nine games. He's been picking it up lately at the plate. Well, Trout has to reach on that slider, lifted to right field. And Soler is there. That'll bring up Shohei Otani. And it is swung on it, missed strike three. Perez got him with a curveball. It is unhittable. That's the first strike out of the ball game. Yuri Perez is legit. We head now to the bottom of the second, and that will be a leadoff walk, so Drury is on. Jared Walsh will be the next batter. Ground ball, second base, and is he going to do it again? He did. A very similar play for Arise yesterday. Slow roller, came in, charged to tag Trout and turned the double play and does the same thing today. Well, you would think that Drury would stop. I mean, because that's what he should do is he should stop and then retreat back a couple of steps. And then you force a rise and throw in the baseball to first. The flare out towards right field, drifting over, not able to make the catch of Solaire. Urshela going to second base, and he's going to round and make it to third. You can't get this guy out. And a baseball fan, you're watching this game. That's what's so impressive about it, making contact. Even a tough pitch going the other way. Another hit with two strikes. That is a nasty little cutter slider. Slayer tried to dive and catch that baseball, gets away, and Michelle just cruises in for a triple. He got that first pitch fastball, but just missed it. High fly ball, left field, playable for De La Cruz. Settles into his glove, and Perez works around a little trouble in the second, still scoreless. Patrick Sandoval on the mound. The batter is Gene Segura. Sandoval's already made a great play, and he makes another one. He's come to play some D's, locking it down, Gooby. That's a great read. You know, if that baseball checks up and hits that grass, it's, it's probably going to be a, a bunt single. So that's a great play by Sandoval. It's the quickness off the mound. And, and uh, the cool thing about it as a pitcher, you get to get your uniform dirty, too. As Fortes sends a fly ball out to left field. This one's going back and into the bullpen. Nick Fortes gives the Marlins a 1-0 lead in the third. It's Nick's third long ball of the season. Fortes sitting on a changeup, and he gets it. Absolutely crushes that baseball into the Marlins' bullpen. So Fortes gets to wear the beach gear after the home run. Now Garrett Hampson punched in the air, softly center field. That's going to get down for a base hit for Garrett Hampson. So after the homer by Fortes gives the Marlins a 1-0 lead, Hampson's got himself a one-out single to center. That is swung on and hit in the air, shallow center field. Drury's going out. He makes the catch, and the inning is over. But the Marlins do get a run thanks to Nick Fortes. With nobody on base and two outs here in the top of the fifth inning, Nick Fortes will be the batter. Fortes, who homered to left his last time, sends another one out to left field. This one one hops the wall. A little trouble out there for Ward. And the second extra base hit for Nick Fortes. Nick having a real nice day. We told you uh, coming into the game, uh, he's batting about 364 against left-handers. The Marlins as a team doing very well against left-handers. That's a fastball that he tried to sneak by Nick. Two aboard for Davis, who's 0 for 2 today. Oh, he lets that one go wisely on the backhand. Is Drury at first? Safe is the call. I think they might check that one on that time. That was real close. Got over the head of Sandoval, Soto and Drury converging. The uh, Angels not going to challenge. I'm not sure if they ran out of time on that or not. You're, gonna, you're not going to overturn it that way either, right? 
be pretty tough. And the bases are loaded for Jorge Soler again. He's homered in five straight games. There's a ground ball. Soto over to second for the force out. Sandoval's retired Soler all three times. The fielder's choice will end the inning. Top of the six. The Angels have yet to break through. Ooh, Up boy. the middle, there's a base hit for a rise. Another multi-hit game for him. Do it, Louie. And a single in the fourth, a leadoff single here in the sixth. His 20th multi-hit game this year. Here's a broken bat blooper left field. Sinking fast, the base hit for Coop. Well, that baseball bat was good to Mr. Cooper, but she's gone now, but it's back-to-back -back singles for the Marlins here at the top of the sixth inning. And a ground ball towards short. That's one. That is two. Second time, De La Cruz has grounded into a double play today. Marlins cannot catch a break regarding those uh, double plays that they continue to hit into. And look at that. And a big old bat flip for Segura on the base hit down the line. It scores a run, and Guriel moves to third. Marlins take a 2-0 lead. You got to love it. You just have to love it. He walking somebody to get to me. Okay, I got something for you. I don't think I've ever seen anybody flip a bat up that high. Meadow will be the batter. He's hitting 252, but he's not had a hit in this weekend series. Out towards right field, hit pretty well, very well. In fact, it gets down for Neto. And he's into second base with a stand-up double. Some action here in the seventh. Boy, so impressive when he hits two strikes, the different approach he takes and how he'll hit the ball that way, and he hits it hard. The short, quick through the baseball, and lines it. Get the crowd back in the game. They do, in fact, intentionally walk Trout, so he'll head to first base. He wants the lefty-lefty uh, matchup with Shohei Otani. Swing and a miss at 97 from Scott. Marlins bullpen leaves a couple on, and they protect the 2-0 lead. So that'll bring in JT Chagua. They're looking for his first save of his major league career. There you go, off the bench, base hit for Chad Wallach. That was a sinker that just stayed elevated enough where you get that barrel on it. Base hit, this is what you want. Flat sinker, runs in, barrel the bat. Chad Wallach lines it over the head of Gene Segura. An opportunity to bring the tying run to the dish. Tying run at the plate, Taylor Ward. Well, up the middle, this could be two. There's one over the first. Double play. Four, six, three, two down. And the 3-1 pitch, he just chops it right to Luis Arise, who flips it to Wendell. And now the Halos are just one out away. It's a two-out walk, and the tying run is coming back to the plate. Zach Neto gives Renfro a shot. The swing of the ground ball or a line drive hit towards the gap left center field. That's going to get down for a base hit. Going first to third and trying for second. Throw comes in, not in time. Arise bobbles the baseball. And now the tying run is at second base with two outs. Here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Well, this is a line drive in the left center. And De La Cruz was, was surprised that Renfro aggressively taking second base, but you got to like it. How about the drama that's unfolding? Mike Trout will be the batter. He could send this crowd of 36,335 home happy. Towards second for a rise. He puts it away. It's a Marlins win. Sing it, Paulie. They sweep the Angels, and they go into a well-deserved off day tomorrow.